Hi, my name is Grace Bukachi and you're watching Sitam Church Online. Rejection as a blessing. Yeah, you heard me right. Rejection as a blessing. So a mother eagle brings up its little eaglets in the nest and when the time is right, she literally like pushes them off the nest and then she watches, like she ejects them. She doesn't reject, she ejects them. Then she watches and that little thing flutters, 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 flutters. And then if it's gonna hit a rock, she glides under and puts and holds it back. And she does that until that little eaglet learns how to fly. Sometimes God allows you and I to go through some painful rejection. I am not under, downplaying this rejection can be very painful because perhaps it's somebody you really have been buddy buddies with. Mm. And then uh, something happens. And in this social media space, we can be really nasty to one another. But there is another side to that rejection. It's a blessing. God is teaching you through a painful experience. Our theme this year in Sitam, John 15:5. Uh, in his presence if you abide in him and, uh, and his word abides in you you can ask anything if you remain he remains then you can ask anything and you will be fruitful can you imagine in that space of being fruitful uh, the verses talks about pruning rejection can feel like that because he's taking perhaps a false trust in you and like that mother eagle decides you're gonna learn how to fly. Yes, that circumstance that's overwhelmed you, that person that's rejected you, perhaps shine the light on yourself. Maybe you need help. And I want to stop there. And I want to say, look at it differently. Let, stop feeling the sting, feel it, then stop. Stop yourself and say, hey, Lord, what do you want me to learn? There, in, there, there, right there is where the blessing lies. God bless you. Talk to me. Yes, I know this is not an easy part. So this is part one. So we'll see you next time on CTAM Church Online. Mm -hmm.